Hello my crafty friends, Michelle here. Today we're going to be having a little bit of fun, a little bit of messy fun, using some stencils, some reinkers, and shaving foam. So now for my two stencils that I'm going to be using, they as well as the reinkers are from Maker Forte. The first stencil there, the round one is called Going in Circles. And the second stencil is a slim line. It is called Peacock Feathers. Now these are really, really fun, really cool stencils. The reinkers I'm going to be using, the purple is called Purple Rain. The blue is called Acid Wash. The pink is Raw Raw Skirt. Now those three colors, they're all bright, really fun neon colors. So really, really cool to work with. I'm also going to be using just a wee little bit of the Eclipse Black ink and as well I am throwing in a little bit of a gold metallic alcohol ink because everything needs a little bit of gold metallic on it. So now for this technique you will also need something that you can add your shaving foam and ink to. I always use a plastic plate, you can use a paper plate if you want, a baking dish, anything that will not get ruined by it a palette knife or a toothpick, something that you can mix up the foam and the ink with, an old gift card, an old credit card, an old business card, something that you can apply the foam and the ink with, as well as your shaving foam. Now this technique will not work with shaving gel. It has to be the shaving foam, shaving mousse, whatever you call it, it has to be the foam. I always use a mixed media paper for this technique. I've never tried this before on a regular paper. I always just use a mixed media because the foam and the ink is, is slightly wet and humid. So I've always just used mixed media because that's what it's for. Now for my stencils, I always spray the back of them with a repositional adhesive just so that they will stick really well to my paper to try and cut back on any bleeding under the stencil or to have as minimal bleeding as possible and also so the stencil stays in place because you don't want it moving around on you. So to start you want to add some foam to your plate or your baking dish whatever you're going to be using. I always go with about maybe a three or four inch square and then I spread it out with my palette knife. I don't spread it out too thin because you still want to have a little bit of depth there. Um, so that you don't have your ink sinking down to the plate as soon as you apply them. You still want them kind of floating on top or sitting on top of the foam. I add my three different colors kind of randomly. You don't want too much pink in one spot, too much purple in one spot. You still want to have that definition between them. And to mix them, I take my palette knife or toothpick, whatever you may be using, and I mix them just, just enough as if you are doing marbling on a cake. So I go back and forth in a zigzag and then up and down in a zigzag. And as well, if you're using a metallic alcohol ink, the metallic alcohol inks will not mix into the foam like the reinkers do. They just sit on top of the foam and they will not move. So once I have the ink mixed up, I go back in and add my metallic ink. And I always add more metallic than I did the other colors. Because well, it's gold metallic and everything is better with gold metallic. And so I add my stencil. Please, please ignore that white cord on the on the left side. I didn't see it at first and I did move it eventually. But I add my stencil to my paper and then I just take my gift card and I just pick up the foam and the ink and I just start adding it to my stencil starting at the top and and sliding down to the bottom. You want to make sure you don't go back and forth over the same spot too much because if you do you may risk blending the colors too much and you still want to keep that the streakiness and the definition between the two different colors. And you don't want to risk blending it so much that it the colors turn to mud. So you just go back and forth, go back over, put the ink colors exactly where you want them. And once you're happy with it, take your card and just kind of scrape off any excess that you have sitting on top of there. And as well, then take a paper towel and blot off the top of it to remove the any extra foam and ink that's sitting on top. And when you do this, this is when the colors and the pattern will really start to pop and it'll really come alive. And then you just take a paper towel and just wipe off any excess. Make sure you keep your stencil on when you do this, or you may risk smudging the ink as well if you remove the stencil and then go over with your paper towel. So then remove your stencil, set it to the side, and admire how absolutely amazing this looks. Oh, and also if you have a scented shaving foam, your paper will probably be a little bit scented when you're done, but I don't mind that at all. 
so for my next one, the slim line, I did the exact same process. I added my shaving foam to my plastic plate, added my inks, and for this one, I added the black too, but I only added two drops of the black because it is black, it will be overpowering. So I didn't want to add too, too much because I didn't want it to take over. So again, I added my inks, mixed them, all, mixed them all up, and then I added the gold metallic again on top once it was all mixed because it doesn't mix like the other colors do. I then added my stencil to my paper and just applied it the exact same as I did before. I picked up a little bit of the shaving foam and ink with my gift card and started going from top to bottom with my stencil over my stencil, excuse me. And I tried not to go over the same spot too much because like I said before, I didn't want to risk the possibility of it bleed, the, the ink and the foam bleeding underneath the stencil, even though I did have the spray adhesive on the back of it, there still always is a possibility. And I didn't want the colors to blend too much. I like to keep that streaky definition between the colors so that you can see each of the colors. And I didn't want them to turn to mud because especially with the black. So I just did the same, took paper towel and went over top, blotted all of the excess shaving foam and ink off. And that's when the colors really, really come to life and you see the pattern that you have created. Now I did go back in and add a little bit more gold metallic to this because I wanted a little bit more. I, it unfortunately didn't translate that well, but I was still pretty happy with how it turned out. So once I was done with them, I removed the stencil from both of my pieces and I trimmed them both down so that they would fit my card base and just to clean up the edges a bit. Now the first one, the A2 size, I felt that it needed a little bit more to it because it was just kind of lost against the white card base. So I took the, the clear embossing um, ink, sorry, yeah, the clear embossing ink for Maker Forte. And it comes in a little bottle with a brush. It's, it's, it's like a nail polish brush. So you can just brush on little bits here and there, add a little bit of a, a uh, an emboss metallic wherever you want it because it's sometimes hard with the ink pad so with this you just brush it on and it's really really fun and you can just add it exactly where you want it so i just brushed it along the left hand side of my card now i didn't use a sorry my cat has just come in i didn't use an anti-static powder or anything on it so i did and my ink and my shaving foam was still a little bit wet when I applied it, so I did just get a little bit of stray powder, but I just brushed it off with a brush and it was all good. So I went in with my heat gun and I did preheat it for about 30 seconds. I went in with my heat gun and melted the embossing powder. And it's like magic, Matt. It's like magic embossing powder is. Once that melts, absolutely love it. And it was the perfect touch that this needed. So for my sentiment, I chose a sentiment from the these sentiments that Maker Forte has are really, really cool. And they are called the Simple Sayings. And they have them in so many different types. The ones that I used was the Just Because. And there's pretty much a saying for, for anything. Just because to send someone a card. Just because to cheer them up. To say hello. Now what I've done. You get a sheet of black and white of each. So you get the same sentiment in black as you do white. Now you can either leave them all just black and white as they are, or these can be completely foiled as well. That's a great thing about Maker Forte. They have all of their sentiments like that. A lot of their papers are all foilable. So I did add some gold foil to this. For some reason it didn't work out exactly how I it didn't foil perfectly, but I'm happy with it. Just, yeah, I, I wasn't too bothered that it didn't foil perfectly. I'm good with it. So on my card base, I did pop up the stenciled card base onto my, onto the A2 card, white card, excuse me, using some foam dots. And I did the exact same thing for my sentiment. 
Now I did trim down this card base, this stenciled piece to 3.75 by five inches so that it is a quarter inch shorter on, on, sorry, a half inch shorter on a, on all this side. No, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. It's a quarter inch shorter on the left, a quarter inch shorter on the right, and the same at the top and the bottom. I like to have a slightly bigger, bigger margin along it than just a quarter of an inch. So it is a half an inch smaller than the 4.25 by 5.5 inch card base. I think I said that right. And I hope that wasn't too confusing there. I think I confused myself. But anyway, so I popped them all up using some foam dots and to finish this off because every card of mine needs a little bit of bling. Unless of course it's for a man. Sometimes I don't add them for men. Um, I added a few flat back gold pearls and that was it. I added three of the pearls to it. I didn't show that part because, well, you guys don't need to see me struggling with the pearls. It's always a struggle with pearls or sequins, but I got there in the end and I love how this turned out. It's simple, but it is, yeah, it uh, is, yeah, I just ha love this technique and how they turn out. So now for the Peacock Feather Slimline card, I did trim it down to three and a half by seven and a half to fit on a card base of 3.75 by 7.75. It did actually end up being slightly sh smaller than a regular slimline would be, but that's okay. No worries whatsoever. Now with this, I did kind of go back and forth between two or three different sentiments to use, and I did not follow these at all. I just left it with the black and the white writing. So it would kind of pull out the black, the black ink that was used. But I did go with the sentiment that says, sending you good vibes from an appropriate social distance because well, that's what life is about right now, unfortunately. And then to finish this one off, I popped it all up on and I kind of debated back and forth which way to go. But I added that as well using the foam dots and added the finishing touch to this of some flat back black pearls. And as well, I did not add that. I had to trim down the sentiment a little bit because it hung over the edges of the card base a little bit. So I trimmed it down so it was the exact same size as my stencil piece. And as well, because it is, I, I, run, along, I run along the edges of the sentiment with a black alcohol marker just because it is black so that it hides the white edges of the of the paper because it is white underneath. So, so it kind of looks like it is a black piece of paper just to kind of make it all flow a bit better. <laughs> and so I added my sentiment as well using some foam dots, added the pearls, and that was it for this card. I absolutely love this technique. It is so much fun. You will never get the same results twice. There are so many different color combinations that you can use and it is just so much fun. I absolutely love this technique. It's really, really cool, really fun to use. Uh, for stencils, you do want to make sure that you don't use a stencil that is too finely detailed. You want to have a little bit of definition between those lines. But that is it. I really hope that you do give this a try. Thank you so very much for watching and spending some time with me today. Don't forget to hit that like button. Let me know what you think down below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Thank you so very much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.